Hi everyone, welcome to the CD Cave. I'm Jack Berrio. Today I'm back with another episode of my CD hauls. Uh, today I have eight CD and uh, one vinyl record. Uh, it's been a while since I featured a vinyl record on my CD hauls. Uh, I've been having a hard time finding some uh, good vinyl, uh, but I do have quite a few good CDs, uh, stuff from the thrift stores, Amazon, and eBay. So uh, hope you'll enjoy seeing those. And uh, if you're new to my channel, uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, uh, like, leave a comment down below. Uh, I read all the comments, I enjoy reading them. Um, and also by hitting that subscribe button, it helps my channel grow. And I really appreciate it. Uh, so to get going, the first one came from eBay that I got this week, which was a uh, Jethro Tall Under Wraps. Uh, very underrated album. Uh, a lot of people categorize this as one of Jethro Tall's worst albums. But to me, it, it's... It's a great album. Uh, all the songs are well written. It's a great album. Um, the only downside why people put it down is because, it, and I understand that, it doesn't have real drums on it. Uh, it's all drum machines. And um, it does have that real 80s sound, that synth sound from the 80s. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, it would be better if it had real drums. Maybe one day they, they will uh, remaster it and bring in a real drummer to do the songs uh, with the real drum parts. Uh, but even with the drum machine, it's a, it's, it's still a great album. The songs are great on this, uh, and I'm glad to have it in my Jethro Hall collection now. Uh, I've been wanting to get it for a while, uh, but it's it's a little pricey to get, and I got it at a good deal, so I finally uh, jumped on it. And um, do check it out if you're not familiar with this one, Under Rasp by Jethro Tall. <clears throat> the next one came from Amazon. Actually, came in this morning, which is Angel. Hell of a band or Aluva band, people pronounce it different ways. It's actually still sealed. It still has a hype sticker on it. Uh, I'll probably open it uh, later on. I've had the vinyl for years. I listen to the vinyl constantly. Uh, now I'm finally glad to actually have it on CD. And although it sounds great on vinyl, it's a great recording. Uh, I'm anxious to hear what it sounds like on uh, on CD. This is for Brock Candy, and uh, this is a 2012 remaster edition and uh, it's got um, different booklet in it. it's got 16 page booklet uh, a 4,000 word essay new interviews yeah so this will be great to, to open up Angel great stuff here this actually features uh, Greg Jafria uh, we'll go on to do uh, the band Jafria and the House of Lords next is from the thrift store uh, it was a really good find, one that, uh, that was actually missing in my collection. The Joker by uh, Steve Miller Band. Actually, I had to get a new case for this one. The case was pretty uh, smashed up. But the CD was mint and the booklet was mint. And uh, yeah, so I didn't have this in my collection. Uh, some good songs on here uh, Sugar Babe, Mary Lou. Uh, of course, The Joker is a great song. Uh, yeah, something to believe. Evil. Yeah, really good uh, album. Nineteen seventy-three, The Joker by uh, Steve Miller. The rest of these are all uh, thrift store finds. Uh, Arrival by Alana Miles, which is her third album. Uh, this one here, I do have to replace the case because the case is broken. This is a uh, a two CD set. Um, not as good as their first two albums. Uh, it's still it's an enjoyable listen, but it's just not as strong as their first two albums. And um, still it was worth the price, and I enjoy having it in my collection. Atlanta Miles Revival. Next from the 20th Century Masters, the Millennium Collection, Kiss. Another great addition to my KISS collection. Uh, I didn't really need another great assist from them, but why not? I didn't have this uh, 20th Century Master, so why not add it to my collection, right? Uh, this uh, Strutter, Deuce, Hotter Than Hell, Come On and Love Me, Rock and Roll All Night, which is actually live. Detroit Rock City, Beth, Hard Luck Woman, Called Dr. Love, 
Love Gun, Christine 16, I Was Made for Loving You. Mostly older stuff. This is from 2003. Yeah, the best of Kiss. Next was an interesting find uh, called Songs from Godspell, which is a movie from the 70s, which uh, when I was in grade school, every year we used to go to the movie theater. Uh, the whole class used to go and uh, we used to watch this movie because I grew up in a Catholic school and uh, I have a lot of memories about this movie. And uh, when I saw the soundtrack, or songs from the soundtrack, I picked it up for two bucks. Couldn't go wrong. And it's actually quite good. I quite enjoyed listening to it. Um, Prepare for the way of the Lord. Uh, Save the people. Uh, of course, Day by Day was a popular song. Uh, all the best. All God's gift. Uh, yeah. Uh, by my side. On the willows. The finale. This is from 1993, this edition. But uh, I did enjoy the, uh, the CD. It brought back memories from the uh, movie back in the 70s. <clears throat> Godspell. Next is uh, Wonderful by Adam Ant. Some of you might remember him. He was popular at one time in the 80s. I gave this one a couple of listens. Uh, when I first listened to it, I wasn't too sure what to make of it. Um, I did enjoy it more on the second listen. Um, it, it's a fairly good CD. It, it's uh, Nothing really jumps out and grabbed me. Uh, but the, the songs are, are fairly good. Uh, yeah, I Won't Take That Talk is a good song. Beautiful Dream. Wonderful. The uh, title track is, uh, is pretty good. Uh, Very Long Rides, okay. Angels, good. Uh, yourself. Yeah, gotta be a sin's not too bad. Uh, I'm not sure what year this came from. 1995. Yeah, so it wasn't a bad listen. Uh, I'm glad to have it in my collection. Um, but it's worth checking out. Adamant, wonderful. And the last CD for today is uh, Bon Jovi's Greatest Hits. Yeah, it's got all the best songs on here. Um, I have all their albums plus a couple of other greatest hits. But uh, for the price, I couldn't pass this one up. Uh, yeah, I was living on the prairie. You get love a bad name. It's my life. Have a nice day. I uh, wanted dead or alive, bad medicine. Uh, born to be my baby, blaze of glory. Uh, who says you can't go home? Uh, lay your hands on me, run away. No apologies. And yeah, this is a good great assist. I noticed though that there's a song on here, Blaze of Glory, which is actually a John Bon Jovi solo song that's on here. But um, great to have the, the Bon Jovi collection. The last one is a, it's a vinyl record I picked up. And it's in mint shape. And it's called Coming Around Again. And it's by Carly Simon. And uh, <clears throat> I listened to this one the other day. And it's, uh, it's actually quite good. I enjoyed uh, listening to it. It's on uh, Arista Records. And um, it's in mint shape. I cleaned it up a little bit and there was hardly no dust on that at all. So whoever owned it previously took really good care of it. And uh, it's got all the uh, lyrics on the sleeve. <clears throat> I do enjoy some Carly Simon. I have, uh, I think, our greatest hits on CD. And um, this is a good album. I was impressed by it. Uh, coming around again, the tall track is really good. Uh, give me all night. Uh, do the walls come down? Uh, should have been me is good. Uh, you have to hurt. As time goes by, uh, it's a bitsy spider. This is from 1987, Arista Records. Yeah, so well worth the price. I think it was three dollars, and it's in mint shape. Uh, 
So it's a good addition to uh, my record uh, collection, which I've been having a hard time getting a vinyl record these days, finding good stuff out there. So Carly Simon. So that's it for this CD haul. Uh, I enjoyed you. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, take care of yourselves.